Aptera has signed an agreement with CPC Group to produce its specialized composite bodies in Modena, Italy, in the heart of the Italian Motor Valley, the legendary home of supercars and motorcycles. CPC will supply materials and structures for Aptera's BIN and C, which stands for Body in Carbon. In keeping with Aptera's simplicity, safety, and sustainability ethos, the BIN and C comprises only six main parts. It can be recycled up to five times, giving it an ultra-low CO2 life cycle. Most BINC is made of carbon fiber sheet molding compound combined with glass sheet molding compound. What does this deal mean for production? With this new alliance, should we expect deliveries of the 2023 app Terra SEV much sooner? Hi, welcome to Intrigo, where we explore exciting innovations in the EV industry. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ding the bell to set your preferences to this channel. It really helps the channel out. These parts will be made primarily of carbon fiber to make them light and strong. Let's talk a little bit about carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is a very interesting material for constructing vehicles. It has incredible stiffness while being in orders of magnitude lighter than steel. Carbon fiber sheet molding compound uses chopped carbon fibers instead of chopped glass fibers and a polymer resin as regular sheet molding compound. Carbon fiber sheet molding compound combines the lightweight features of carbon composites with a manufacturing process known as compression molding, which allows for quick production and is hence appropriate for high volume industrial applications. As a result of these factors, the automotive industry is an excellent contender for this technology. The application of the carbon fiber sheet molding compound has literally moved to the considerably broader non-high-performance automotive market as shown in the 2017 Toyota Prius. In the aeronautical industry, Boeing has also used carbon fiber sheet molding compound for the 787. The use of these materials is also expected to increase in this area. Now that we have a better understanding of why Aptera chose this path for its SEV development, let's look at some of the advantages of carbon fiber sheets. The first is low density and a high ratio of strength to weight characterize lightweight carbon fiber. The force per unit area at failure divided by the density of material gives it its strength. It is a strong light material and has a good strength to weight ratio. Due to their high strength, carbon fiber sheets and components are used in the aerospace industry to produce lighter and stronger plane parts. It can also replace other metals, resulting in widespread use in aviation. Carbon fiber is lighter than aluminum, while also being stronger than steel. Low thermal expansion is number two. Compared to steel and aluminum, carbon fiber contracts and expands less in hot and cold climates. Due to its low coefficient of thermal expansion, carbon fiber is an excellent choice for applications requiring minute movements. Telescopes and other optical equipment also use it. The ability to stop environmental degradation brought on by chemical or electrochemical reactions ranks third in terms of corrosion resistance. When made with the right polymers, carbon fiber composite is one of the most corrosion resistant materials on the market. Reduced electrical conductivity is number four. Because they conduct electricity more slowly than metals, carbon fiber composites find great use in the manufacture of automobiles. The fifth is UV resistance. UV resistance is the ability of a material to withstand potential harm from exposure to UV light. Carbon fiber can be UV resistant with the right resins. Carbon fiber is prone to fracture or break when crushed or pushed beyond its strength. For example, if you hammer it, it will fracture. Machine in carbon fiber sheets is a challenging task because once the carbon structure is damaged, the fibers lose their shape and become insufficient in strength, making it impossible to repair or restore the structure. Most of the time, the structure must be removed and replaced. Carbon fiber is an expensive, high-quality material. Another cost factor for carbon fiber is energy. It takes a lot of energy to add carbon atoms to each fiber, and a sizable amount of energy to bundle the carbon into fibers and threads. Energy is the most expensive component in the production of carbon fiber components, and the most sophisticated production equipment is also quite expensive.
Carbon fiber is harmful to the environment. It does not degrade easily. It is extremely harmful to the human body, causing a variety of illnesses like lung cancer. If out of control, microfibers can lead to serious health issues. They can stick to human mucous membranes or skin, causing irritation because they quickly penetrate deep into the skin. One significant disadvantage of using carbon fiber is that you will almost always need a mold if you want to produce a quality product. Making a mold is not always a simple task, so you will almost always need professional assistance. Another disadvantage of using carbon fiber is that it is difficult to recycle. Since carbon cannot be recycled as easily as steel or other materials, replacing a piece of carbon fiber produces a lot of waste, making recycling carbon fiber a challenging task. Carbon fiber is wasteful to produce and challenging to recycle because it may melt. In conclusion, Terra plans to start deliveries in 2023 and ramp up to a full-scale production rate of 40 vehicles per day at its final assembly location in Carlsbad. The company has received over 37,000 reservations. California, however, given the significant drawbacks of the carbon fiber sheet molding compound, particularly its high cost and environmental impact, it is unclear how this will affect the prices of the production version of the Aptera. Although this material will contribute to the safety first and reliability ethos promoted by Aptera, as well as the unmatched efficiency of the solar EV, the drawbacks of this carbon fiber technology in the exterior build of the car.